get it. Nobody. All the time. He was always like that. Rabbi Frank was known to be a person who's not afraid of people. He is open to love them. How can you love somebody? You're petrified of them. You love him, you, you got an issue with him. You can't, you, you have nothing against him. You like him, but, but uh, uh, I hope I'm making an impression. First of all, the gears. Your love is, I don't know what kind of love it is, because there's so much fear going on. You still like being with two friends, you know? All right, anyway, I, I, I must say this, because it's good to have you guys. If you're taking me serious, I do want to say that I heard this from the Yitzhak Golansky, the last living Talmud of the Yalta from the Bardic, and I went over to him and I said, I'm crazy shy. What's going to be with me? He opened up a al that a Yom Kippur Zabin. And he went through the al This al this, al that, al that. And he looked at him, if Zainish and al I'm being afraid of people. Did you hear that? This is a Talmud of the altar himself. He was the last living Talmud of the altar. And that's what he told me. I don't see it all faith. I don't see the problem. So you have to understand, our religion is a broad, there's a break time. You don't tell a super shy guy that he's a Christian. You don't do that. Leave him alone. You know what you're supposed to tell him? Keep that on. You're supposed to tell him you have such a kapari, you have a life of Yeshua. You'll lose, you have such tikkunin because you're shy. Shy people suffer and suffer and suffer. And a shy person is Kedish Kedoshim. I'm going to tell you something about shy people. They don't say this to nobody, by the way. They do or they don't? They don't. He told it to me because he took he realized the matter. <laughs> if he would have, if he saw me in the Vardi where there's help available, he would speak differently. He'd say, don't be a Kaifer. Let's go. Jump in. You got support to break through. But you don't have any support to break through. And you're a shy person, you're going to knock yourself. You're, the reason why people are shy is because they're busy knocking themselves. They don't hold for themselves. That's the reason. They're thoughts that cause shyness. Shyness isn't a material just like this. There's not shovers. Who am I compared to these guys? They're all better. There's reasons why they're shy. So, so uh, what was I saying? So the, you're going to tell a guy like that, that he's a kaiser. <laughs> you killed him. You don't want to say that to him. So I want to tell you something about shy people. First of all, I remember when she built something that was talking about girls being shy, not shy. This is an Americana zach that you can't be shy. Americana, Michigan, personality. Everybody, they see a personality, they faint. They're already scared. A guy with a big mouth. I'm not afraid of them. I challenge them. Whenever I say a big mouth, I say, oh, how are you doing? I'm also one of you crazy guys. I have the same as you guys. I also open my big mouth. This is saying, God, personality, a big speaker. People are trading the mishtach and the to these people. It's crazy. They are, they're, they're scared of them. I know, so I became a little famous. I noticed so many people that used to be comfortable with me now and they me, um, just, uh, do you think it, that's good? What, what's up the mice? Where's the English stuff? What are you afraid of? You know, the mice are the muscle to loser. Muscle to loser. I heard this from your father, I think. Muscle to loser. What, what, what was going to sit in there on Pesach night? By the way, the cups get up, but they're not allowed. I mean, then, to come to him at say the night. He says, Man Chayru Seno. With me around, there's no Chayru. He was off. And ever like that, I hear it. And he could kill you, the cops could ever explain again. But uh, I heard the mess of the loser, if I heard correctly. They, they were scared of him. He was fired. Mess of the loser? You know what he could do? He could take an inkwell and send it flying through the air. You heard this? All right, now you know. He, he was tough. You know what he used to say about Aguda and about all the, uh, the not. Not his uh, ilum, you know, those that met the Medina. Your mach shemoy is a chroy. He used to say it. My father, my father told me this. He used to say it like, like, like he, like you know, like shach was ben chamayr. There was no problem. Mach shemoy is a chroy. What? Am I right? Agadistim mishachistim. Agadistim mishachistim. Alt what? Alt 
I'll miss them. Yeah, 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 he was my really. By the way, I will not repeat certain things he said about his daily item. I will not repeat it, but Robin, privately I can tell you. But if I'm not repeating it, there's it, something going on there that, you don't, that we're not supposed to hear. But he did it. Boy, did he curse away. Did he let them have it, all of them. These chapters were all the Achidish, one of the big Achidish rabbits who was, who was in a good day. Boy, did he wipe the floor with them. And he said, you're not guy of a doofer, you please let them have it. And he told this Gabbai, I, I never met him, but I met his Gabbai. He was the sweetest human being in the universe. I'm there, no? I'm there. It was he Zeke's, I loved him. A uh, smiley, a uh, Achidish and the Mikhail Saluk, Mikhail Saluk, by the way, was also a piece of gold. He was sugar. My Shved said, the other didn't know him. The only they know about is that. Rabarin's the same. Rabarin's probably also look at it like who knows what. Rabarin, Tate in! Stop letting Tate in! He's fighting against Talos and Tate in! Rabarin was a Kanoi, right? Not true. Keep that on. Rabarin was Adel Kite Alink. Mikhail Saluk was spit. Adel Kite, you can't imagine. And he once said, Tom Bad is God by his man, I, so timeless you shout naive. You hear that? It's a stock of mine. And I've read this, I shan't. It's a reading of mine. The whole world looks at him like, oh boy, you can't kick it, you can't control it. It reminds me of one of the Pearlsteins, that's a famous Munkacha family. That he was he was walking around uh, around the Rebbe's house making a few hot coffees. So I asked him, "What do you what do you what do you what is this?" I tell you, well, I might be exaggerating the story. He said, "The Rebbe took off get out. Smart, this again took Mari again. You know, you're gonna wait till the Rebbe's gonna cool down." He he had his style. He's a Malach Hashem. So okay, he was a loser. Not shy. Nothing like him. Anyway, but that was his. Is that he fit in very well with a lot of Nevada, you think. Somebody once met my share. He, he met me first time. He says, you know, your share would do well with Nevada. You know who told me this? Uh, what's his name? The other thing. Naivoyna told me this. Since then, I just said, he would do well. You know, he once said to Mr. Beluga about himself, I think he said he was in a Shama of Rabbi Laza Rabbi The authorities once came into his, to his, Sure, to check. It was serious stuff, boy. He don't shut up. The police. And he has uh, the galach. You heard this story? He wasn't scared of nothing. And he says, He wasn't scared. Anyway, so let's get back to. So if you're shy, you should know that. Yeshiva Bachrim, I heard this from my Shvega, Allah Shalom. Shiva Bachrim was shy in Hungary, in Lita, anyway. The bank fetches were shy people. Yeshiva boys were shy people. Nothing wrong being shy. Yeshiva people were punk shy. Rachman and Baishonim. Who should marry the Gamida Taiva? The only people who weren't shy were the Fardigas. And Slavotinikas. The Musinikas used to work in these things. So they were very different. The Bradigas were very charismatic, um, very, uh, Rebbe Bender told me, energish, energetic, fireball, and ruach. I want to bring the Bradig to us guys, because I want to tell you something. When you have a sheep there, you're alive, you have ruach. It's very, very important. You have a steple, so what? We're going to come out ahead. Now I'm going to speak a little bit about Melis. Yoshebat Yid. I took off my shittas. There are certain seeds and the spakas, this type and that type. Oh, shittas. I punk like shittas very much. I want. I feel everybody should have a shittas. To be a zay, everybody's good. The big tzaddik I hold from everybody. I'm not so sure that's so pushy. You have a stack of shittas where you don't hold from nobody. And then you start holding from them later. Then you'll get to that. But first, you got to be yourself. You have to have a sheet to it, a terror. It gives you a level to Now I'm going to tell you something. There are some sheets that the world does not like too much. I will not say any name. There's a lot of criticism of different sheets. I myself would need to, oh, no. This guy thinks he's got it all. You know, I'm also Jewish. You know that? 
Oh, you, hey, oh, no, but you don't know, this is the sheet then, and you might have some good points too. We have this, and we have that, and you guys never, some guys are more blunt than others. But even those that are not blunt, they turn you off. Who do you think you are? You own the world. Your sheet then. Simon Gazan, there's a certain sheet that, that they discourage their cover from ever dominating anywhere else. You're not dominating where we dominate, where our club dominates, you're like both of them. You're like, okay, say goodbye to us. We, we're here. That's tough business. You, you get turned off on that, don't you? That's shrekel. How do you do such a thing? Now I want to tell you what the Chavetz Chaim said about this. First of all, about Chibin. He used to sell, he, they had to sell the Mishnah Brewer. So his, 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 um, his son, Ayala, used to go to see them to sell it. They used to, uh, you know, they kibitzed with him a little bit, maybe too much. Because he was a Litvak. So he came to the Chavetz Chaim and he says, you know, it's not pleasant selling it to him. He says, don't go there. From time to go, I go to the other island. That's one mic. Here comes another mic. You know, I heard it's a different print. From time said, those Chasidim, first of all, he loved Chasidim. From the time was not a Misnagid. He loved Chasidim. Maybe it was a Misnagid also, it's no spirit. Yeah. <laughs> you know that Rabaran was Taka Misnagid, and he loved Chasidim, obviously, never stopped down. You know, we love the Kapitia Rebbe. We heard this right here in this. What he did, he wouldn't go there to show without a bracha from the Kapitia Rebbe. And he was on the way to the airport. He, they say, you're going to miss the plane. I forgot. I got to get a bracha from the Kapitia Rebbe. No. He didn't like to see them. He wasn't mad. Halabai, we were like, and he was the guy to Miss Naga, Jabari. They were afraid to wear a gothel in liquid. You know that? A stream on the liquid? Forget it. When Rabari was around, he was a, he was a real, real Miss Naga. Jim said, I come in. I have, the snaps is waiting for you. We have three varieties over here. We're not Matsumtum only. We are broad-minded people. You can have this. And this is next time I plan to get some vodka. And if anybody wants to help, you know, we need to support our institutions. You know, we have our own business. So the main support we need is good alcohol. I don't like Arak. If we have any Sparty friends, I love Arak. So you make that ever happy. You know what they're doing lately? These are not my bottles. My season bring it to me. <laughs> you see, I have the best for season around. They are the Ayman al Das Rabbi. <laughs> they say it takes 40 years to be Ayman al Das Rabbi. They got me right away. They know what I like. So I, they keep buying me this. I'm very proud of our season. We're the best drinkers in Lakewood by far. We <laughs> okay, anyway. What are we up to? What am I talking about? Okay. You know what he says about the time? About the time says that see them, they fight the scholar. Now, I don't want anybody in Lincoln to hear what I said now. You heard it. I'm going to say it. I'm not in the spoil, but I still don't want you to get this out. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> anyway, you know what he said? It's in print. Me then and Shlomadl Nikis. The see them know how to fight the scholar. Robert Chaim said that. And then he said, they do some nasty things. You see them are tough guys. They're, they could be mean. Don't ask their stories in Europe. I told a story last week. That's a very tragic story. That the Horvath of Europe came because of infighting. It ain't so pushy. Right now I'm being mailed. I'm not here to say anything bad. I'm being mailed. It was Robert Chaim was mailed. Keep that right. Keep that right. Keep that right. We're almost hitting the 500 mark. I told you. I have a Kapola by Neila. My most important couple of the year is covered at Taylor. My covered at I don't mean male. I don't mean I mean covered at Taylor. Less, I don't speak for crowds less than 500 people. And uh, we're getting there. Baruch Hashem. Thank you, Rabbi, for helping me keep my Kabbalah. It's also helping another Yid have a little COVID. The is the COVID 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 is Anyway, the time says, now, what's our lucha if, if they're running after... <coughs> by the way, as far as finding the Haskalah, there was one group. The Muslimikis, what are one? Besides, the regular Litvakis may be brisk. But outside of that, the Muslimikis, 
especially Nevada, they went to war against Ascola, no Rachman. They were also fired big time. In fact, the, the Kletzky Yeshiva brought the Alpha from the Bardic to give Shmuzin, and they were asked, there was a Rabbi Yeshiva, they were asked, the Alpha was asked to help them in the type of Shmuzin to fight the Ascola. That was the effort. So, they fought them too for nail them. They used to fight building street fights. You know, it's ours. No, they wouldn't give in. The Vardis weren't pushovers. There's a lot of stories of them. They were tough. The Banditten. There were guys, I know a might say a guy came to the Vardis. They stole his, they stole his, uh, his briefcase. You're not leaving him. Just staying right here. You want the briefcase? Tough. There's the story. Banditten. They were tough. They did it with shame. They knew what they were doing. They wouldn't stop. But they weren't like pushover people. Oh, no. Adel Yeshiva, they had that in them. Oh, too, plenty. If someone started up with them, and there was a meanest issue, they turned into butter. They kissed the guy's feet, seriously. They kissed his shoes. I know this for a fact. When they had to be machnia to somebody they didn't like, butter, Reb Gershon, oh, what he wouldn't do. He would turn himself into a jellyfish. He'd give in to the... To, no, that's when there's a meanest issue. That's when you got to be soft. But when there's an issue with Tavik Shemayin, there are stories of double blachas smack someone across the face. What's the most of the when we made him a chogriyavu? Which bacha? Which bacha is going to see when he made him a I'll tell you in a second. Let me finish this. That's next. You hear this, my son? What's up with Tavik Shemayin? Tavik Shemayin said that when you, you as a roidiv, you're allowed to kill him. And if you're in the process of killing a raider, you smash Kalim, you putter. That's the season. They get carried away, they fight a little too much, it's fine. And I say this about the season that I, I can't stand those guys. <coughs> Who do you think you are? You ever hear these guys? You don't dive, you don't dive, you're not from us. Not, I don't like it, nobody likes it. And I stick up for them. That's why they're so successful. They need to be like that. You have to be down the top foot. So the time is down the cops with, I could open the guy. I hold from those to see them. You hear that? And I'm also a little bit like that. I learn from them. I hold anyone outside the party, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm officially a closed, a narrow minded Stoltz in the party again. I hold from nobody except us guys, all right? I picked that up from the from them. They taught me how to do it. I'm narrow, it's official. I'm officially narrow minded. Just in case anybody wants to know, I'm officially narrow minded. How's that one? Now, I want to tell you that, that you have to, those people who work hard and lose it, don't ask that narrow minded. Boy, are they broad minded. They could be the extreme opposite, like you won't believe it's the same person. I want to give, I, I, I'm not going to say the name of the Phoebus. But a very hot and very, very successful speaker. I met a younger man from there. Maybe I should say his name. I, I'd rather not. A very hot person, very Hashivad Ma'i, almost Hashimamabasera, a bomb, one of the biggest around. He told me he used to dislike all the other sheets except for his own. And he has he he has what to sell. He, he's uh success. I think Baruch Hashem is in that shita because what he became is that thanks it's thanks to the shita. But I changed, he tells me. Now I like all other shitas, and he meant it. I was so misspoke. He started talking about other other shitas with the biggest ava, with Emesal Rossi. He wasn't just being yoked to lip service to show I can do that too. He really, I was very impressed. Anyway, let's get to the story of Gershon. They had a meeting. In um, anatomy, yeah, in, in Paris, they got together, Russia Shivas, uh, Man Island, way from way back. They didn't have too much going on. Nevada pretty much opened up, brought a lot of tire to France. This is nice, this is a very. At that meeting, they had a big meeting, and all the Balabatim and all the rich Balabatim and Sea there. <coughs> And all the Man Island, oh, I want to hunt for those Balabatim, you know, you better behave yourself. Sitting at that meeting was a person, I'm 99% sure who it was, I don't want to say his name, 
There was a person that every girl held them to be not stop. He was a, the lowest of the low. He was a real, I don't want to say anything more. He was bad news. But, he took that eye. He was, he was a big shot, you know, and you had a, you had a cater to him. And he came to the meeting, and he sat there like the fuss of the evening. So Gershon got up in front of the whole oilum, and he opens up a box, and out come 50 scissors, 50, 100 pairs of scissors. He takes on the Rabbi Tyra, his Hebrew, you know. Rabbi Yisai, Rabbi Yisai, Onitz Yais Luni, Udum Kizei, Shekolak Doilum, Omri Ulov, Shei, that he's a bum and a whatever he is, he, bad news. Tirichim Las is Kriya. No, Rabbi Yisai, Rabbi Yisai, Kriya. He goes ahead to his lapel. And he cuts with his, and he rips his clothes. See, he says, no, 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 no. Then he, 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 he takes the, the, the box, and he gives it out. No, no, dear, take the key, take the key. See, I'm laughing, it's clear. Well, isn't that it's my son? I heard this from an eyewitness. The people there didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> They're dealing with Bal- Madena Balabaka. They're not yeshiva people. Those fans those days, they had barely had any, nothing there. And they don't have this whole thing. What do you mean? This guy's a good guy with a beard. And they know that he, he's whatever. So they had this man was. They thought he was out of his mind. And he could not care less. I remember the one who told me, Rabbeinu? Oh, Patlo. Like, he couldn't care less. And they're all looking at him, and he's a man. Mice and people are so careful that they need money. They're so careful what they say, what they do. I need money. And then when they see when they see a guy with money, they shrink. And they put on the best smile, and gotta be friends, gotta be kind of the guy. You know, you need money, you even need money, you have to do that, what are you gonna do? Not Navadik. The only money is the Rabbi Shalom. Now, a person like that, what are you doing? They have no bread to eat in your yeshiva. Navadik was the poorest yeshiva. And what happened besides? They became multi millionaires. And I say, I'm not sure what happened first. <laughs> but I could believe Rev. Gershon used to go when he collected money. He went, I heard there's some people that went with him. He took a trip for an hour and a half to the biggest beer in the whole place. Of. The guy used to learn in yeshiva. And he became, you know, got money. He built himself a palace with a pool. With a, Ech, race was nice, barbecues, and like, you know, the real Moderna Severa, with a couple of cars and a couple of this, was nice, latest style, open up, you know, open up the button, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, fry a man, son. chill out. I will buy you out of Yamaka, or he had one, it was, he comes to this person, he spends an hour and a half, and he wipes the floor with him. What became of you? A gavir. People don't do that to you. The man wasn't used to this one. What became of you? You used to learn in yeshiva. Look at yourself. You're angazuk and loylam hazza. All you care about is got to you. How much could you eat? You got fed. You, 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 you eat and you, and, 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 and all you have is loylam hazza. You're rich. You're money. You're not worth a penny. You're zero. You're loylam hazza. You, you don't know shagas. Spend an hour and a half. He didn't expect a penny from him. Turned around and he left. It's not the only time he did this. One of the times he did it, right, once he went into a house that had a piece of a picture. I heard this story on two Navarrians. The other one was the whole victim. He did it in England once. He had Gershon, I don't know, but I heard he saw a picture that was pretty thick. He walked over to the picture, he ripped it up. And he said, you owe me. I helped you out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, keep a picture like that in your house, and everyone goes, oh, it's a beer, you know, watch out what you're doing. <laughs> and it's a beer. Don't do that to him. You're going to turn him off. Now, it's could I not to be afraid of people? I think it's a soul Hashem. That's a soul Hashem. To walk into a place like that and not rip up the picture. That's a soul Hashem. You hear that? You don't rip it. You're not. You're not. You know, it's okay. They're all doing it. No, so I turn on planes. I don't know. I didn't check this with my Rebbe yet. I'm careful. My uh, my sheep is. 
But I, when, you, when you're sitting on a plane, and they start showing things that are not appropriate, because stuff that you didn't ask for, it, it's just they want to show you, you know, how the plane works, and they show that it has arrived. You tell the guy, the steward, you tell him, what's going on here? I'm going to come upon it. I scream my head off to the guy. I explode. <laughs> what is this? This is disgusting. You guys normal? What do you have? The whole, let the whole plane here. I scream my head off. I scream my head off. And, and the guy got scared stiff. Now, the guy, when I, before I saw him, he looked like the old the world. He's a cool, tall, good looking, clean shaven steward. He's one of those. Smiling to everybody and running back and forth. You know, the plane, the pa pa pa. And here I make Hashem block at the bottom. No Rachmanin. But I want to tell you something. I always do this. I say, I don't mean you. I mean the company. You're a very nice guy. In fact, I like that smile. I always do that. You're giving great service. And I want to re- tell, the, tell the guy in charge about you. The guy loves me to pieces. Always. He, he looks like a tough guy. Boy, does he love compliments. The Vardigas understand how people are dying for a little cookie. They have that. When they take advantage, boy, do they have fun with people. I know exactly what you want. I want to go through the Vardigas fighting. Uh, no, no, one was on a Vardigas, and one was a regular guy. And the guy was screaming, it's sheep to Sahin and sheep to Sahar. The Vardigas tells him, you know, I hold a lot from you. And he stopped complimenting him. And suddenly the guy melts. Because what does he really want to shoot this? He wants to have COVID. When you mechaber them, suddenly you're going to forget the sheet that won't be true. And when people, are, all they want is COVID. You're just a wonderful person. Get it. Keep out of arguments. Arguments is just, by the way, I'm Choshev. Why? I got a sheet there. Therefore, I'm Choshev. A sheet is a way of getting people that are thirsty <coughs> for COVID. They get them from the now, I am thirsty for COVID, and I hold from the party. <laughs> I hold this. Shalei l'shma, ba l'shma. That's done. Okay. Now, um, do you know the other wants to go to France at a talk? with an Avartigas. If anybody wants to come to France this year, I have a week off. I'd love to go there. And there's a chance that Rabbi and my Rebbe won't be there. So I spoke to his son. I said, if we're going to come there, I was at the very stack of body saying, not stop. You know, you're good to see. He's Adam Choshev the son, but Rabbi is Rabbi And there's a chance he's going to be in Eretz Israel. So I told him that. You know what he told me on the phone? He said, if you come and he's there, you'll get Olam Azet. If you come and he was not there, you'll get Olam Abba. You heard that? The stack of my sins. Not stop. I want to tell you, I went there many times without any... You need to... Maybe that's why I lost my, my notebook. Remember what happened last time? I went there, I lost my... I wrote... You were there with us? I was there. I filled up. I did nothing but write down what I was seeing and hearing. You know, I need the body. You know, I, I come back to America. I need my body. And I do. But I just said this and this. And he did that. And I, might, and I filled up a notebook. And I missed him all this time. Why did the Abish still make me lose that notebook? I want to tie up for this reason. You go, you know how much time you go if you go to a Rebbe and come back with zero? You don't have Go to them, how are you going to get? And they just pay you for that. Go for no, go, you went. Well, you accomplished this, you went, you tried, it's enough. Now, I want to, I want to mention something. Tomorrow, he's speaking at Yeshua Canaric. What time does he speak? 825. 825? 845. 845. He's married, the Elam loves him. Um, I'd like to, what I want to do here is get more personal with the Elam. If anybody wants a real bitter amata, if you really want it, we'll sit down privately and we'll we'll take a pot each guy. We'll let you do it the way you want it done. You know, you in a verdict, you know what they do to you. They destroy you. You know what they do in a verdict? This is what they do. There's a lake with Bacha that went there. Boy did they do it. They say he's a new person. They saved his life, not stuff. 
anyway, they uh, they take you and they they the Rosh Habad, all the, the let's say there's six seven people, they all they know each other. They write in a piece of, piece of paper what they think of you. How's that one? They write down. Imagine ten people writing what they really think of you, and and you don't know who wrote what. Isn't that delicious? That's good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you like the Vardig? I'm not so sure. There? Wait, well, we're not finished. <laughs> then the Rosh Shabbat takes all the papers together. Nobody knows what wrote. He's a little, this guy, you know, he's faking a smile. It's a Rosh on him. It all comes out on the table. And this guy never says, learning Shachamites. He thinks he knows everything. His gayest problem is long. As much. For years I've been watching him. and I'm almost giving up on him. He's not that big. But they, they do write what they really think of the person. Imagine. And then the Rosh Shabbat picks up all the papers. And he says, and he starts reading them. And his job is to sugarcoat. Don't you dare write everything you're seeing over there. And he starts saying, he's a great guy. He says, but a little bit that, you know, he sugarcoats it. And when they're finished, they give the man, they give him a recipe. They give him, they do this twice a year. It's called Birra Matim. Not shy. I know somebody had it. The first time he had it, he cried. He said the first time he had that bit of matzah, he cried. And Reb Geshen told me, "Fadi and Abba." For those tears, you're gonna get Elam Abba. And Reb Nekrit said, "Who achen ve the person who never had a bit of matzah? He has no idea who he is and what he is. He's sealed by Chayshe Chaylas." He's going to have a life of his nose, no, he's coming or going, no one ever did a job in him. Tell him, where are you holding? You want to find out the next world, but it's too late. It's embarrassing. They get you, remember this, remember that, but, 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 but. no one told me. Because <laughs> you didn't go to the Vardic, it's your own fault. <laughs> should have got to the Vardic. Now, what should, we, what should we be doing? So, so, uh, we'll talk about it, how we're going to work this out. <laughs> I know there's a Baden Skver. I, I have a relative who's a Russia Baden Skver. First of all, a lot of the Baden they have is a Baden Ruach. They sing and sing and sing for a couple of hours, and they eat together, schmook together. Very healthy. Ruach takes care of a lot of kids in the Kaskaiba. You're about Ruach. You're in a happy mood. You're a different Bria. I go. I go for that. Vada Ruach, they have that in the Vada also plenty. Vada Ruach, it's a different type of Vada. And then there's another Vada where the guys get up. I always tell them, say yourself what the problem is. We have to tell you? And we're going to say, oh, really? Even though, of course, I know you guys. <laughs> so day one, these guys are notorious. I don't want to say what. Oh, really? Oh, that's not true. Really? Really? Oh, like that? Oh. So then, all the friends, you're not going to lose the relationship. <laughs> You had a guy that said, no, I believe, no, I'm much, I, no, I hold you wrong, you're too critical on yourself. No, no. But if you really want, okay, let's see what we can do about this. I would go that mahal, if anybody's interested. 